Hey everybody, Livingston here. Today we're jumping into Werewolf by Night, a movie that came out on October 7th, 2022, and it's one I haven't sat down and watched before. But before we get started, let's read a summary about the film. Werewolf by Night is an American television special directed by Michael Giacchino and written by Heather Quinn and Peter Cameron for the streaming service Disney+. Based on the Marvel comics featuring the character of the same name, it is the first Marvel Studios special presentation in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, sharing continuity with the films and television series of the franchise. The special was produced by Marvel Studios and follows a secret group of monster hunters as they compete for a powerful relic while going up against a dangerous monster. Hmm, I bet the monster is a werewolf. <laughs> so, let's jump into the show and see what we're getting into. Oh, dark and black and white. Oh, claws. Wonder why they haven't done another one of these special presentation films. I heard this got pretty well accepted. Yeah, this movie has a 89% ex approval rating, so uh, it does well. It did well amongst the reviewers. In our modern world, this is where monsters dwell alongside those who hunt and slaughter them with pride. None more prolific than the Bloodstone family, the powerful supernatural relic. The Bloodstone, this weapon is in want of a new master. Hunters have gathered from around the globe. See, they're going for that old 30s vibe in this movie. Next, we'll wield the Bloodstone, and woe to the monster who finds itself among them. Good. It's a grand room if I've ever seen one. Also Bigfoot. Elvis is here. Kind of skittish. <laughs> That's red, or uh, there's some color there. It's a beauty, isn't it? 57 confirmed kills myself. Hey, fellow killer. I, uh, I like your whole look there with the makeup. Killer trademark. It's to honor my ancestors. Quite a place he built for himself here, eh? Him I fought a few times. Hey. He's never looked so alive. <laughs> Hills, sir. After 20 years, I hope you didn't feel obligated to come. How long can we expect you to stay? Give me what's mine, I'll leave now. Bruce, so what I do with it after I've earned it will be none of your business. To be honest, that might be the best part. All these years without training. Without his training. You were so promising growing up. We all believed you would surpass your father. If she hasn't. It was the greatest disappointment of his life. Okay. Tell you how you feel. Over 200 kills collectively. So many death dealers in one room. Awesome. Guy's good at his job. <laughs> I bet she'll be the one that walks away alive, huh? I mean, if I had to guess, I would say it would be her. The one that was the disappointment. Knowing his spirit would not be with us tonight, state his wishes for the ceremonial hunt. He orchestrated his presence in other ways. Time to lock her up. No. Oh, opens it. One last look. He's looking lively. He's animatronic. My attendance delights you. This is weird. <laughs> it is now time to choose a new leader in the crusade against monsters. A monster unlike anything you faced will be released. Oh, great. Good luck. I'll be rotting for you. <laughs> <laughs> A joke. Graveyard humor. I guess it was the wind-up. I was wondering, that was a very intricate way of opening up a casket. There is only one bloodstone. It was to be his daughter. Elsa has long forsaken that birthright. It'll be hers again. The stone will be affixed to the monster's hide. This will weaken it. It will also make it angry. Wow, so it evens out. And we all earn the right to hunt. 
but she gets to crash this thing like it's a backyard wedding. Where's the lovely ladies and the dally and... Have you checked up your own office? Elsa is welcome to join. Just fair game. No special treatment. Oh, good. So we all get to die equally. Sweet. It is every hunter for themselves. Ah, uh, you lucky bastard. You shall go first. No, oh, first to die. We'll spill all blood for the hunt. There is no peace without blood. And so it shall be. It's a very well-lit movie as well. They say black and white is one of the hardest things to light in film. I mean, you have a whole spectrum of grays and blacks and whites to work with, but you really got to think about separating them more so when it comes to black and white compared to color. Separate the tones. Just imagine that you are back in childhood days. We turned on the tunes. Probably not going to be the first to die, but curious to know who is going to oh, work together. I suggest we just pass each other by. What? Okay. <laughs> well, that's rude. <laughs> so he doesn't play fair. Oh, Jazz is coming for you, Lassie. No, I think you might be dead pretty quick. <laughs> I saw that little film grain scratch that just popped up. That was pretty cool that they included that. Uh-oh. Ah! Ooh, it's like Battle Royale with the werewolf involved. <laughs> oh no. She's actually pretty badass. Bro, I wrap that arm up before you lose too much blood. Oh, got her. <laughs> Use the hand. Yes. Crossbow. Poo, dead. I wouldn't have called it that he was the first to go. But he didn't say much. Shh, be quiet. You're dying too loud. Dead. That was a bad way to go. See the mouth? Are you okay? You can't keep counting on me to save you. This is the last time. Does it hurt? It's wicked of you, right? Don't worry. I have a time. Mm. These little things explode. So we're gonna explode our way out of here. Just keep alive. Don't die. I guess they're friends. Uh-oh. Who will win between this duel? This was my hiding spot. I have to get out of here. Only thing I don't. Good, now I'm stuck in here with some fool that's tight. Can I take a look? It has to be done right, because if not, it's not gonna work. Partner up. We're a team now. We'll do this together. You didn't want to fight before either, did you? Running into me. I have to say I'm having a hard time believing you hunted and killed monsters. If you're not a hunter, why do you want the stone? You just want to do with the werewolf. That's not the reason why I'm here. Well, maybe we can help each other. All right, just play your reason. If you help me get the monster out of here alive, I can get you the stone. So is it a family member or a lover? <laughs> so you don't want to be like your father then? Careful. It must be complicated to grow up with his family. You have no idea about my family, none. I don't. I can tell you my family was very different. Man, defensive. We could die here. You and I with your family. It's not my choice, but it's not. Ah! What are you doing? My dad used to tell me stories about my crazy Aunt Frances. He said that if I misbehaved, he would unlock her tomb and come out and pull me back in there with her for company. An exit strategy. Well done, Elsa. My name is Jack, by the way. Hey. Just get me the stone, we're good. Then you're on your own. 
I just carry the arm around. This would be morbid as hell. It's like, that person's weird. You've got an arm for a crossbow. Throw it at the wall, it'll stick, then get clear. Okay. Cross me and I'll kill you both. Okay. When you run into him, just just treat him like an old friend. Well, remember his name. Which is? Ted. He's called Ted. <laughs> I'm really hoping for something more ancient when it came to the name. Like, maybe call him Theodore. Yep, hurry up. Hey! <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Too bad for you. Well, that's not a werewolf. That's just a creature. Ted? Hey, Ted. Your friend is waiting for you. So, who's a werewolf? <laughs> is he a werewolf? And hurry up. Throw it. Come on, you can do it. The hell? Take your time. It didn't stick. You probably just walk up to the wall and post it. There you go. Boy, that's a creature and a half. What, are, what the hell would you call that? Bomb sucks. Put it in the crack. It's some Elmer's glue. There you go. Leave. Freedom. <laughs> what exactly did it do to him? Well, now, look at this. The Bloodstone did this to you. And it threw him back. Masquerading as one of our own. Mm. He is the werewolf. Freedom! And you, you freed a monster with a monster? It's probably gonna release him. I can't wait to find out what breed of evil you are. None of you should have the stone. It's probably one you don't want to mess with. Well, that ain't cool. House rules. Kinda hope she dies. She always plays an unlikable character. She was Frasier's manager. I think she still is in the uh, new Frasier show. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. This is bad news. Elsa, are you okay? Until you rip my throat out, I suppose I'm fine. I'm s sorry. I couldn't tell you, you know. An idiot, I know. But I'm also a human in the category that you would call a human a human. That's from like a dog. <laughs> I don't care about your systems. They they work. You'd be surprised. They they actually work. I would never hurt you or hurt anyone. So, I'm, I'm... so you have nothing to worry about. That's good to know. Can he control it? We have plenty of time to figure something. Why do you think they put me in here with you? Bloodstone's capable of transforming you in five seconds. Oh, great. Little Yeti. He's definitely not wanting his head on the wall. I shouldn't have asked for your help. Yeah, well, I shouldn't have needed yours. So if this is gonna happen, I need you to look at me. What are you talking about? I need to remember you. Well, does it work? It's gonna try. Once. I don't think they realize how bad he's gonna get. Because he'll end up killing everybody, I bet. Just kill me as I am. Otherwise, there will be no mercy, I promise. Uh, they're not gonna listen. Mercy. She's gonna talk her bad guy talk. Our whole mission is built on mercy for you and those like you. You wanna see this, darling? I wonder how he'd feel about you hunting me. Better than he'd feel about your betrayal. How does she betray you? She let a good creature away. It's time for you to show yourself. In Chris Kant, fear up. I wonder how he's going to look. An American werewolf in London or, or even Underworld. Uh-oh. Oh, that's pretty cool how they're doing that. Showing the silhouette behind her. Ah! 
She is scared. Take a look. Your death is imminent. <laughs> you kind of deserve it. Is it just going to break out? I mean, like, is it going to be able to bend those bars and just wreak havoc? Oh, he got out. You guys are screwed. <laughs> He told you. He warned you. No. He looks pretty badass. Definitely love what werewolf for the 30s. He's staying away from her. Ooh. Dead. Or will he become a vampire? Or uh, I keep seeing vampire. Werewolf. Yay! Climbed out. Good for her. Ooh! Dead. Pretty good move. I just run the other direction. Like, screw this. I'm out. They don't pay me enough for this crap. Under the door. Yeah, just get trapped. Good for you. Really? You're gonna try? Woo! Dead. Ooh. Got her. Knocked out. Be nice. She is your friend. Jack, he's still in there. Jack. Jack is dead. Tell me what movie I was thinking of. If you know what I was referring to. Don't kill me. Please. There you go. Humanity's coming out in you. Be nice. There you go. Oh, good. You got away. Maybe they can reunite with Ted. Elsa! You let him go! You will now die as you lived a disgrace to your father's memory! She needs to go. Ooh! Oh, good. We get to see you go away by, the, by Ted's hands. Burn, baby, burn. Dead. R.I.P. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. He went that way. Thanks. Appreciate it. Make myself available to you. Brilliant. You can stop carrying all this shit home. <laughs> oh, great. I guess she's now the heir of everything that she is sitting within. That's nice. She's becoming color. Put all the music there. Oh, Ted must have. Who's playing solitaire? Bah. Well, is that instead. Is she okay? Good. Oh, good. You killed everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to go to your rescue. Whatever, no. <laughs> the end. Well, that was nice. Well, that was Werewolf by Night, and I gotta say, I didn't know what to expect going into this movie, but uh, going into it, I thought we were going to be hunting the werewolf, and it turns out the werewolf was one of the hunters, and the actual creature that they were hunting was something called Ted. Almost looked like a swamp thing in a way but not the dc version of it but it very much resembled something a creature that came from a swamp or the woods in general 
And I'm very curious where they're going to go if they're going to make more of these. I do. I did see a interview not too long ago where the director stated that it's currently put on hold for a moment since they're kind of recalibrating Marvel. So it would be interesting to see where they're going to go with this and what they're going to do with the actual monster universe that they have started in the MCU with this movie. I mean, you have Blade, which has currently been indefinitely on hold. Don't know if they're going to keep the actor that is currently attached to it, but it's kind of sad that they put it on hold. We did get a taste of Blade in the recent Deadpool and Wolverine movie with Wesley Snipes coming back into that fold. But yeah, I'm, I would be very curious to see if they're going to expand on the monster universe within the MCU and where they're going to go with it. I enjoyed the 1930s aspect of the actual film, how they were filming it in black and white. And it did a really great job in capturing what those 30s movies were all about in terms of camera and the way they shot everything in cinematography. The music as well was very much a big part of this movie and very much steered how the emotions kind of went with everything that was going on. I liked the comedic parts of the movie as well as the action that was kind of coordinated and involved with everything that... Uh, yeah, it was just really good with how they did everything, and a lot of the character actors, I've seen them in different places. Not sure if I can pinpoint exactly other than the one that I did mention, which was Frasier's uh, manager. But let's jump into some trivia and see what it took to get this movie off the ground. At around 16 and 31 minutes marks the cigarette burn effect appears in the top right corner of the screen. This used to appear in old films indicating the change between reels on the film projectors. Oh, that's what I've seen. This is Marvel's first Halloween special. Hope they do more. This is the TV special directorial debut of Academy Award winning composer Michael Giacchino. Giacchino had previously written the scores for Doctor Strange and the John Watts directed Spider-Man trilogy for the Marvel Cinematic Universe and was a co-composer on Thor Love and Thunder. He earlier directed one short and one animated series episode. Upon her arrival, Elsa and her stepmother, Verusa, have a conversation in a hallway where monsters are depicted on murals in the background. Among them is one that resembles the comic book appearance of Gore, the God Butcher, the most recent villain of Thor, Love and Thunder. I miss that, sadly. When addressing the monster hunters, Verusa states, Where Monsters Dwell. Where Monsters Dwell is a 1970 to 1975 Marvel comic which printed old monster short stories. Some of the monsters' heads hanging on the wall appears to be tribute to these monsters that appeared in the comics. Longtime director of The Simpsons, David Silverman, cameos as the performer of the Flaming Tuba, a real-life talent he possesses. When going through the pages of what the Bloodstone is and what creatures are affected, the first creature is a Wendigo. The Wendigo first appeared in Marvel Comics in The Incredible Hulk Knight, number 162 in April 1973. A Werewolf by Night film has been in development since 2001. That's crazy. This is the first Marvel Studios project to be given an MA-15 plus classification in Australia. Hmm. Kirk R. Thatcher previously appeared in the MCU as Punk on Street in Spider-Man Homecoming. This was a reference to his role as Punk on Bus in Star Trek IV The Voyage Home, a character he later reprised in Watcher 2022. Kirk R. Thatcher played Joven, which is the guy with the axe. He was the guy who was jamming out on the uh, bus when uh, Spock actually reached over and pinched his neck and made him pass out. In the comics, the character of Elsa Bloodstone had similarities to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Though it should be noted, her creators state that never watched a whole episode. Coincidentally, Laura Donnelly, who plays Elsa, recently starred in The Nevers, Joss Whedon's most recent TV show. Hmm. Oh, I didn't know that Elsa Bloodstone was the person that they actually were following when in terms of the comic book that it was based off of, so... It'd be curious to see her character going forward and if they actually cross paths with the werewolf by night again. Heather Quinn and Peter Cameron co-wrote the screenplay for a story by Quinn. Quinn previously wrote for the Marvel Studio Disney Plus series Hawkeye and Cameron wrote for WandaVision and Moon Knight. Quinn was asked to pitch for the special while she was working on set of Hawkeye in early 2021. She worked closely with Giacchino to craft the story of the special. A search for a male Latino actor in, his, their, in their 30s to portray the lead role in the special was underway by the end of August 2021, with Gael Garcia Bernal cast in the role on November. I don't even know if I said that right. 
Werewolf by Night was released on October 7, 2022 as part of Phase 4 of the MCU. The title role, as adapted from the comics, was written specifically for Bernal. Director Michael Giacchino direct declared that if Bernal turned down the role, the film would not be made. Really? I mean, there's so many actors out there, you couldn't replace them with somebody else? Elsa sits beside a marquee-style tombstone that reads, Jacob Howell McDougal McDougal. Elsa sits beside a marquee-style tombstone that reads, Jacob Howell McDougal, July 1891 to March 1907. J.H.M. was an ancestor of the Bloodstones. In the comics, Werewolf by Night and Man-Thing were members of the original Legion of Monsters, along with Morbius and Ghost Rider. So I guess that was Man-Thing? I didn't think that was Man-Thing. I thought that... I Hey, whatever. I know Man-Thing. I just didn't realize that that was Man-Thing. <laughs> the monster named Ted is best known to the comic book fans as Man-Thing. Okay. Somewhere Over the Rainbow from The Wizard of Oz plays as the movie shifts from black and white to color. The same effect was used in The Wizard of Oz. While this is the first on-screen appearance of Ted Solace Man-Thing in the MCU, he was previously mentioned in dialogue by Maria Hill and Nothing Personal, 20. 14, and a sculpture of his face was carved into the Grand Master's Palace as seen in Thor Ragnarok 2017. Well, that's cool. Man-Thing debuted in Savage Tales number 1, May 1971, two months before DC's very similar character Swamp Thing in House of Secret 9, number 92, which came out July 1971. So Man-Thing is the one that is the original. So I guess Swamp Thing, which is more popular, ended up hitting its stride more so than Man-Thing did. It's too bad. Man-Thing co-creator Roy Thomas recalled Jerry Conway, co-creator of Man-Thing, and I thought that unconsciously the origin in Swamp Thing number one was a bit too similar to the origin of Man-Thing a year and a half earlier. There was vague talk at the time around Marvel of legal action, but it was never really pursued. I don't know if any letters even changed hands between Marvel and DC. We weren't happy with the situation over the Swamp Thing number one origin, but we figured it was an accident. Jerry was rooming with Lynn at the time and tried to talk him into changing the Swamp Thing origin. Lynn didn't see the similarities, so he went ahead with what we was going to do. The two characters diverged off after the origin, so it didn't make much difference anyway. Both characters were reminiscent of The Heap, another Swamp Monster character that debuted decades prior in Air Fighters number 3, December 1942, published by Hillman Periodicals. The director and writer said it was Kevin Feige's decision to include Man-Thing. Ted chasing Elsa in the labyrinth in slow-mo mimics the scene of Hulk chasing Black Widow in The Avengers. Hmm. Well, that's very interesting, and I really enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to continue on watching things that I haven't seen before on this channel, as well as other things that I like to do as well, maybe a podcast in the near future. But anyways, until next time, see you later.